Hello and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry Lectures in Technology. In this video, I am taking the topic on high frequency titrations. This topic was suggested to me by some of the students of graduation. They wanted me to upload a video on this subject that is high frequency titrations and as you all know it's the latest technique in the modern science and technology and very little literature is available on it. So I have tried to take this topic in detail making it so easy that the students can grasp it easily and understand it properly. But before I start this video, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and also to share my video among your friends and students who are mostly dependent on the online lectures. So let us start with the high frequency titrations. The high frequency titrations are similar to regular conductometric titrations. Conductometric titrations I have already uploaded in one of my previous videos. So if you want to learn about it, you can go to that video. I will also give the link of conductometric titrations in the description box. So these are similar to the conductometric titrations. These titrations are also called oscillometric or contactless conductometric. In conductometry, the analyte is taken in a glass beaker into which two platinum electrodes are immersed and the change in the conductance is measured through a big bridge circuit by passing an alternating current with a frequency of about 2000 cycles per second. But in high frequency titrations, that is HFT, the analyte is taken in a vessel made of either glass or ceramic and the vessel is kept in between parallel metal plate electrodes. The electrodes are not immersed in the solution but they are kept outside the vessel approximately 2.5 cm apart from the vessel. Now since the solution is insulated from the electrodes by the walls of the vessel, therefore the change in the conductance of the solution can be measured only by applying high frequencies or radio frequencies. And this is the reason it is called high frequency titration. During the titration, the vessel is kept in the field of high frequency oscillometer and any changes in the conductivity of the solution produces change in capacitance which are recorded on the detector circuit. We can employ two types of cells in this method that is high frequency titrations. One is capacitative cell and second is induction or within coil 
cell. In the capacitative cells, the variable parameter is capacitance, which mainly depends upon the dielectric constant and the resistance of the solution. In this type of cell, the outer part of the vessel which is in contact with the high frequency oscillometer is surrounded by two bands of copper or silver. In the induction or within coil cell, the variable parameter is induction of the cell and it is independent of the nature and resistance of the solution. It is also free from the electrodes. The vessel is not kept in between the electrodes but it is kept inside the induction coil which is tuned circuit of oscillator. The oscillator circuit includes capacitance, inductance and resistance components. The high frequency titrimeter could be a simple tube circuit or a complex oscillometer. The cell containing the analyte is put in parallel with the calibrated capacitor and the output frequency of two identical oscillator, oscillator circuit is recorded, measured. One circuit contains the sample as a part of oscillator and the other serves as the reference. The output from two is then fed into the mixer unit and the difference in the frequency is measured directly. The method is free from electrolysis and corrosion of electrodes or the polarization of electrodes because the electrodes are not in contact with the electrolyte directly. They are kept outside the solution and this is the reason electrochemical reactions also does not take place. There is no consumption of electrolyte also. The method is simple, rapid, with high accuracy and good precision. The end point is reached and can be measured easy. Although it is similar to conductometric titrations, but it is superior to conductometry. The method is based on debye falcon hagen theory for the dispersion of electrolyte conductance at high frequency. The debye falcon hagen effect is the variation of conductance with frequency at high frequencies due to the existence of ionic atmosphere with a finite time of relaxation. It is a microscopic phenomena due to the interaction of high frequency electric field with ionic atmosphere. There are several advantages, some I have already told, like there is no polarization effect on the electrodes, there is no consumption of the electrolyte, there is no need of maintenance of the electrodes because the electrodes are not kept inside the 
electrolyte. There are several applications of high frequency titrations. It is used in pharmacy in determining the structural properties of the analyte. It is also used in acid base complexometric precipitation titrations with great accuracy, precision and speed. In normal precipitation conductometric titrations, it takes hours for the precipitate to settle down and recording the results. But with the help of high frequency titration, titration technique, the results are obtained in a very short time with great precision and accuracy. I hope I have given most of the details of HFT. Thanks for watching this video. Keep looking for more videos. If you want some topic to be covered in my lecture, please don't hesitate to put the topic in the comment box. I will definitely take the topic and come back to you. Thanks and bye-bye.